with meteorologist Kevin Phelps. All right, as you head out here this morning, you will be greeted with some wet roads, but a lot of our rainfall has wrapped up, especially on the Iowa side of the river. It's really going to be our eastern counties that have some very light rainfall continuing. You look out towards the I-74 bridge, you can see the darker clouds here off on the horizon. That is the back edge of the rain clouds. The rest of what we have as far as cloud cover goes will keep us under overcast skies here for probably the next few hours, uh, maybe even into the early afternoon, but it's actually helping us here right now. We're in the low 40s to start things out this morning. I expect steady temperatures here through about 10 and 11 o'clock this morning. So don't look for really any big jump right now. We also are going to have north and northeast winds here for a large chunk of the day. But from now through about 9 and 10 a.m. likely our breeziest time of morning and this is going to allow us to have wind chills in the mid and upper 30s area wide here as the kiddos head out to school or as you head out to the office. So again, you look back to the west, nothing in terms of rainfall. Anything that we have left is really in the eastern part of the viewing area. In fact, you're getting into parts of Bureau County here out near Walnut, out near Tampico and southeastern parts of Whiteside County. This is all drifting to the north and to the east. A couple of lingering showers out near Atkinson and Cambridge, and then you even drop out near Woodhall. All of that sprinkled activity out near Alexis and Rio is also kind of wrapped up. So again, over the next hour, all the rain exits the TV6 viewing area, and then we're dry the rest of the day. In fact, we're going to be dry all the way until Thursday evening. So quiet weather behind this system, and this should allow us to kind of have a couple of days where we top out in the 40s and 50s. Average high is 45, so this is relatively mild here in terms of March temperatures. So you'll have that sunshine late today. Partly cloudy here to start off your Wednesday. We're probably gonna have a few more clouds here on Wednesday afternoon, but because we have some lighter winds, it allows us to climb back into the mid 50s. Thursday into Friday is really our time frame to watch for our next widespread rainfall event. I'm not expecting severe weather out of this one. We start the morning off on Thursday in the freezing mark. Yeah, partly to mostly cloudy in the afternoon, highs in the 40s and 50s, and we don't turn the faucet on until after sunset. In fact, by midnight, rain just rolling into the southern part of the TV6 viewing area. This will likely encompass the entire area for the Friday morning commute and maybe even into early Friday afternoon. And this is going to be a substantial rainmaker for us. Areas north of Highway 30 likely end up in that quarter to a half inch. We're right along that half inch range here along the I-80 corridor and then our southern counties likely end up between three quarters and a full inch and this is going to be a nice soaking rain event, which is some good news. We had the rainfall yesterday and we had the abnormally dry conditions here across a large chunk of the area. So we're looking at maybe some improving drought conditions here in the TV6 viewing area this week. Now temperatures themselves, yeah, they're not going to improve a whole lot. We're in the 40s and 50s here through Friday and Saturday. Here comes the sunshine, though, to wrap up the weekend. And then as you head into early next week, man, we're going to start to heat things up once again with highs near 60 next Monday. A new study has.